I've got the two lining pieces together and then um, the first thing I am going to do is join the sides together the sides of the lining pieces I'm going to join it together so it can be one full piece So now I've joined the sides of the lining piece together, everything is joined together for the lining piece and then now I am going to go to my circle piece, which, circle pieces, which um, is my main fabric. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be joining the main fabrics in twos. So one front and one back, I'm just going to join them together. So you see, I've joined the sides of um, the piece together and I've, I'm going to do that to the top piece as well. This is the second piece. So my circle is just one piece. Looking at it, it's one piece. I'm going to do the same thing to the last piece. So now I am done with joining all the pieces together and the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to begin to sew them on my main fabric. I'm going to start with the last layer and then I move up gradually to the first layer. Now remember this is where we have the notch and this notch point is my um, lower part. So and then I have these lines that I've drawn which is visible and obvious. These lines that I've drawn is visible and obvious and I'm just going to be making the same right on this line. If you're making yours properly, you may want to take out time to do some overlock stitches on the side so everything can be neat. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going right straight to sewing and not taking out the time to do the overlocking. But when you're doing yours, please take out some time to do your overlocking. So I am going to start by sewing the last layer. So I'm just going to put it inside like put them inside each other of course because it's a circle so i'm just so i'm going to start from one of the side seams here i'm starting from one of the side seams here and i'm just going to be sewing right on my chalk line you can start from anywhere but it's just nice to start from you know the seams here so you see this is the points for my joining on the main fabric and I'm just going to put that same point to the joining on the side but this is the right side of the fabric and that's just how I start to sew it. So our first layer is done. Before I go on, I am just going to show you what I have done for the first layer. So this is the first layer and it is done and ready. This is the this is where the inner piece gets to on the on the, you know, main length. So really because I don't need this, when I am done cutting the dress, I can cut it all out. I don't need it. I'm just I'm just going to cut all this all out. So this is my last layer. I always like to start with the last layer. However, there are no rules. You can decide to start, you know, with a shorter, with, you know, one of the top layers if you so wish. Now, I am going to be putting the second layer. So, I'm just going to wear it just straight here. I think that's just the easiest way to sew it. So, you don't have to have to... Yeah, you don't have to have to stop sewing and um, make a turn when you are trying to keep the stitch on so I am going to um, just start just as we started before
so guys i am done with the second layer and i'm just going to show you what it looks like i think it's beginning to look pretty already so see this is the first layer and this is the second layer and you can see the way it overlaps you know you cannot see the joining of the third layer like that you can see the way it overlaps and it looks nice now before we go on to show the first layer i am going to be putting an elastic band here so i'm using a plain black elastic band and i'm just going to be sewing right on you can decide to sew this after you put the first layer but i think i just find it easier to do this before i put the first layer so i am just going to be putting the black elastic band now now this is the black elastic band that i am using it is stretchy you can see i can pull it and it looks nice it's a one inch band and i like to use this one inch band if you've got a two inch band as well you can use but I'm, i like the black one as well because it's just going to like look nice and the fabric can just disappear nicely so i am going to start again from the side and this is just my preference i just want to start from the side so I'm going to start from right here. Now, when I start, I'm going to leave some inches before I start to sew. So, and I'm going to tell you the reason later. I'm going to leave some inches and then I start to sew. I sew in such a way that the seams, the elastic covers my seam. And I'm going to start sewing from the base. I'm going to be making two stitches on this. I'm going to make one on the bottom and one on the top. Just to secure the elastic and make it look nice. So, I'm going to start with the seam on the bottom. As I sew, I am going to be pulling the elastic elastic just so it can give me the stretchy and squeezy effects that I want the dress to have so here we go you can see already that the dress is already looking like what we want it to look like it's already you know looking stretched stretched and um, squeezy and it's already looking very nice so i am just basically going to continue the same way till i get to the end i pull slightly as i sew and i'm sewing just right on the bottom Okay, so I am about to get to the end, I mean to the very beginning where I started from and then um, I am about to explain the reason why I told you to leave some extra air. I will love this stitch, this stitch a bit here and then I cut. If, um, we need to finish this nicely basically, we need this to look nicely finished and we don't want like the elastic to look tacky. So what we are going to do now is that we're going to be joining these two ends together and we're going to pull it you won't you won't join it together to be like the exact length because if you do that there'll be no stretch you're going to make it to be a bit smaller than it's supposed to be so um i'm gonna cut this so i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna make it a bit smaller and join it together So now I have joined it together and you can see now that this part is going to look a bit, it's going to look stretched when we sew it. Now I'm going to keep a seam on it. So I'm going to sew right on top of it. And remember that I am going to pull it to sew. I am sorry if you cannot see this very clearly. I hope you can see as clearly as possible. It doesn't help that I am sewing black elastic on um a black base fabric but really that's what i could use because this is a totally wearable dress and then this dress is going to be really rocked so i couldn't have used any other color but i am going to sh do a close-up to show you what i have done in case you haven't seen it properly so you see this is my elastic 
this is my one inch elastic and i was pulling the elastic and sewing right on it and what i have done is sewn on the base now i'm going to sew on the top so you can see all this my rough edges is going to be nicely concealed under if you have anyone that's going to stick out a bit too much you know just trim it so it can be smaller i'm not going to make the second seam right on top and remember when you are doing the second seam as well you want to pull as you sew it is very important you do that you have to pull as you sew So guys, I have sewn the top layer to here and um, you can see how it's resting. By the time we tape it, it's just going to, you know, just bounce nicely on the remaining two layers. Now the last but not the least thing that we're going to do is put the elastic here. So it's going to be an elastic casing and what I'm going to do is just fold and put the elastic on it. So that's the next thing I'm doing now. Please don't use the half inch. It doesn't. It's not strong enough to hold. I never like how it comes out. So please use this one inch elastic, the big one. So really, what you should do is do an overlock, because that's the easiest way you can do this. Do an overlock right on air all the way around. So when you put the elastic in, you can just fold straight and then just sew on it. But for the purpose of this video, just because I am I am just eager to show you the finished product, I'm not doing the overlock yet. I'm just going to make the seam on it. But guys, no, that is not the right way to do things. I'm just doing it to show you the final product. I'm still going to take the elastic out when I am done and do a proper finish. I just want to show you. So, um, this is how I do my elastic casing. I just do this. Do this remember i said this place would have been overlocked i'm gonna pin this place down just in case the elastic wants to remove so i am just gonna pin the elastic to the fabric here i think i'm gonna make a video on how to fix the el elastic casing later on i may not be able to go by it properly now but i'll make another video on how you can do it and then in that video you'll be able to see how you can do this properly So guys, um, I am done putting the elastic and uh, this is how it looks. I'm going to have it on a dress form just to show you how it looks or have someone wear it. So 